Okay, in this video we're checking out the uh, SkyStars Talon 15 amp flight stack. This is a 20 by 20 stack here, as you can see, with a half size uh, 20 by 20 video transmitter board, F4 flight controller, 4 in 1 ESC. Uh, it's only up to 15 amps. BLLE S, not BLLE 32. It comes like this, um, sort of pre assembled in the box or the little case that it came in here. And get some stickers. And you get the XD30 plus some um, wire there that looks like about 18 or 20 gauge wire. You get a little uh, whip antenna for your VTX and some extra wire here. Uh, you get a little wiring loom for the foreign and ESC and also probably some extra wires here for like a receiver connection. Now this stack here is actually... If you're, um, in a lot of products, right? If you've seen it on my channel, right? So this is in the uh, Mini Whale HD. It's in both of the Scorpion 80 and 80 HD. And I've actually taken apart my Scorpion 80. You can see here. And uh, these are all the parts here because I wanted to. I actually scavenged the motors out of that for the Cream Puff light build. So um, I ended up just pulling all these parts out of here. And for whatever reason. Uh, the Sky Star stack here is rated to 15 amps, but you can see that it doesn't have the motor plugs on here. See that these plugs here for the motors are not on there, and the one for the Scorpion 80 is rated to 12 amps, but these are, as far as I can tell, exactly the same. So, give you guys a close up, and if you see a major difference between the two that I don't see here do let me know down in the comments but as far as I can tell they're the same and I think that the reason that they have changed the rating to 12 amps is because of these motor plugs I bet that in the plugs do cause some extra re internal resistance and that's probably the reason why the different rating but you can see that the through pull uh, there's, there's holes there for the plugs if you want to put plugs on there but of course you can just do direct soldering, which is what they're you know, obviously recommending for this one because they don't include the plugs on this stack. So that's a 4 in 1 EC. Let's see, it's the same board. Got your wiring loom here. This is what the flight controller looks like. And let's see here if I can get that in shot. Yeah, it's a little hard to see, but yeah, yeah, the USB ports are on the right. The plugs are all in the same spots. You can see where all the connections are. So all of your camera video transmitter connections are here on this side, which I think basically the front. So go ahead and show you this board. Same board. And we have our camera connection here. This is actually is an EOS 2. Got your negative 5 volts and video there. Although you could also power it up off of VBAT if you want to use that pad that's not being used. And then you have your video transmitter connection here. I think those extra wires may be for the video transmitter actually. So you have your black, ground, red is going to be, uh, in this case it's, I think it's 5 volts. So there's a solder bridge here for 5 volts or battery. So if you have the bridge on the right then the voltage coming out of here for the video transmitter will be VBAT instead of 5 volts. That's that red pad there. The green is TX3, which is for smart audio, and then the yellow is obviously video. And then uh, I'll show you the video transmitter here in a second. I'll show you the rest of the board here. You got your boot button. This is an F4 with an MP6000. Uh, I think it's a 503 amp voltage regulator. You have your extra UART here on the right. So you have uh, R1, T1, UART1, and then you have uh, 3.3 volts here for spectrum receivers. I think PM there is for PPM. And then you go over here, you got your LED and buzzer connections over here. And then on the other side of the board, there's just the OSD chip and the F405 uh, chip, pretty big chip there. So it's kind of interesting board that there's these cutouts here on the side. Usually the boards go all the way to the edge, but this one uh, has a maybe a little bit lighter, narrower profile like that. And here's the video transmitter. Now, this one here, this on the Scorpion, uh, doesn't have the UFL connector. Uh, the whip antenna is directly soldered on, as you can see. But the one on the SkyStar stack does have the micro FL connector, so you could swap out the uh, antenna instead of for the whip antenna. You could put some other antenna on there. 
Um, but again, uh, I'm going to show you these side by side, and you guys can tell me if you notice any differences. They are essentially the same, other than the fact the, uh, from the SkyStars one has the micro flow connector. And you can see here from the connections on the board. And so we have video on the left. Green is your smart audio. Red is power in, and then black is ground. And that's pretty much it on that side. You have a button here. If you want to, if you don't want to use smart audio, you can use that. And then there's nothing else on this side. Just your solder points for the wires. Pretty tiny. Uh, the video transmitter, I believe, only does go up to 100 milliwatts and 25 milliwatts in pit mode on the low side. So don't believe this one does 200 milliwatts. Okay, so this is the way of the whole stack. I'm sure people are going to wonder what how much that weighs. Just by itself with the standoffs and everything, 6.7 grams. Um, if you're curious how much this weighs with the camera and everything, just see an idea what, what it would look like in a build. Uh, this happens to weigh about 13 and a half grams. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Um, there's uh, flight footage of this, obviously, and the other videos, obviously, with the Scorpion 80, ADHD, and the uh, SPC Maker Mini Well, so I will link those three videos down below if you want to see how the stack will perform. This should work pretty well for a wide variety of um, setups. I think you could go with 2 inch, 2.5 inch. I, you know, obviously you want to stay within the 15 amp, uh, amp uh, current rating of the, the ESC, but you could probably go 2 to 2.5 two inch props, 3 to 4s. It really depends on the motors you're using and how much the KV is. Uh, general guidelines, I would say um, something like a two and a half inch build. If you want to stay within 15 amps, I would say 3s. Like I, mm, I would say five to five thousand kV to be safe. Six thousand kV might be okay on a two and a half inch, depending on the prop and how heavy it is. So, yeah, uh, the guidelines are going to vary based on weight. Um, the prop you use and the motor and the motor KV. So depending if it's 11 o. 3, 1104, 1105. It's, it's going to be a wide range of different setups you could possibly use for this. But if you have any questions about what might be a good setup, might not be, let me know in the comments below and I'll try and help you out with that. Um, it's just there's so many, so many different various combinations you could possibly put together. It's hard to say exactly um, how they would turn out. So uh, I can give you some uh, general guidelines and ideas if you ask me some questions down below. But anyway, um, yeah, again, links to these other videos if you want to see flight footage of this down below in the description and uh, yeah I'll talk to you guys in the next one.